I know that I'm late to the game, so I want to be completely, completely thorough. Um, literally everyone across the world has spent the last few days laughing their asses off at U.S. Senator from Virginia, but carpetbagging uh, here in Missouri, Josh Hawley. But easily, the folks who actually live in Missouri, currently, have been laughing the hardest and the longest at his stupidity. Um his awkwardness, but mostly his cowardice, as he literally pirouetted away from the violent mob that he himself helped to incite almost immediately after doing so. Um, so let's take a look at a couple of clips of the man, the myth, the legend. Um, the first one uh, I'm going to show you on the left, um, so yeah, on your left still, um, is Josh Hawley raising his fist in, in solidarity, you can't see that, raising his fist in solidarity uh, toward the insurrectionists just before they would storm the building that he's about to walk into himself. Um, on the right, uh, we'll see a quick video of Hawley frolicking uh, across the hallway from the mob he was just raising his fist at in support of. So let's let's take a look here. I played a couple of times. It it doesn't get any less funny. I'll tell you that. Um, I mean, I guess it's not so fun when they might actually kill you. But I digress. Um, so next we have um, the reaction of the audience at the attendance of the January 6th committee that gathered specifically to analyze the events that took place during and as a result of Josh Hawley's big boy moment. When this video was featured, can you see it there? Uh, yes, they're they're not laughing with you. Um, that's for sure. Um, next, we'll take a look at the reaction of one of the Capitol police officers who was attacked and severely beaten by the mob that that piece of shit senator had incited on that day. Hey, so this guy's a cop. I kind of wonder if Trump thinks that this guy is a hero since he actually did put his life on the line to stop a violent protest. We know how Trump feels about those too, right? Um, they violently beat the shit out of him and that isn't up for debate. So wouldn't this be one of Trump's heroes as mentioned previously? Well, I mean, to be completely honest, to give you my, like the first thoughts that popped into my mind was Josh Hawley is a <laughs> I didn't say it. And he ran like um, And the fist pump combined with uh, what he did in the immediate aftermath just shows the true character or lack thereof. There are reports that say when they showed the video inside the hearing, people started kind of like giggling, laughing. Oh yeah, there was uh, an eruption of laughter. I mean, I listen, I... um. Obviously, I see like the amusement of it, and I'm not going to fault people for finding it humorous, but uh, that pisses me off. That guy's a clown. And you see the way that these guys perform in public, and then what they are in reality. You get a lot of that nonsense up here on Capitol Hill with these members of Congress uh, that have become like a caricature in the, the media, uh, but in reality, they have no character. Um, they have no honor, they have no integrity, uh, and the way they behave outside of the same God uh, is very different. Well, so there you have it, folks. The official, um, the official word from a member of the Capitol Police is that not only is Josh Hawley a bitch, but that he ran like a bitch. Um, we can say that word on this show and that's perfectly fine and you know for the folks who, who have a problem with that um i got a few choice words for you there as well um and and honestly he, he's right 100 percent. it is funny 
but also it's not funny um as as the events unfolded and and what it actually means um but we'll get into that in a minute um next we have um holly speaking at an event either the same day or the day after his deer impression video came out um i can only assume that he didn't see it before he made this speech publicly and i think it's it plays well into um what what uh, the officer had mentioned about um, the the caricature of of the way these public servants uh, appear in the media versus well the sprinting. Let's take a look. And I am not backing down. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to cower. I'm not going to run from you. <laughs> And I am not One backing time, down. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to cower. I'm not going to run from you. So, so there you have it, folks. Um, yeah. And and then we have Josh Hawley bragging about his fundraising. Um, and this this was from today, bragging about his fundraising because of the re the release of his big boy video. Um, which I can only imagine the type of people who would be willing to send him money after a son. I mean, he's either completely full of shit here, or there are some even bigger pieces of trash on the Republican side uh, of the voting block who would actually support this asshole. Um, let's, let's take a look. This is from the today. The January 6th committee said that they talked to a Capitol Police officer who said when you made that fist pump, you riled up the crowd. Do you regret that fist pump because of that? No, no, I don't. I don't regret anything I did on that day. And, uh, you know, it's a privilege to be attacked by the January 6th committee. And I want to th say thank you for uh, all the help with my fundraising. It's been tremendous. But what about the video? The fact that they did release that video and showed you running. I mean, what was your reaction to that? Oh, Mark, this is, Mark, this is just an attempt to troll. And uh, listen, I don't regret anything I did on that day. And the reason I'm being attacked by the January 6th committee is because I'm in their way. And the stand that I took is one that I don't regret and one that I won't back down from. Uh, no, I, 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 I think we heard why um, that's being mentioned. Um, but then lastly, we have a U.S. Senate candidate from Missouri. This is C.W. Gardner. Um, Holland ass himself. Uh, let's take a look. There's the raised fist, locked door. Oh shit. Right. And yeah, I mean, humor aside here, um, humor aside, folks, um, Josh Hawley is a United States Senator. He's an incredibly dangerous person and is in an incredibly dangerous position of power and influence. Um, let this be a lesson and a reminder of what we're facing as we are just weeks away from an election closing. Um, and lastly, just, just for the sake of hypocrisy here, um, I thought we would end on this. So Republican Congressman uh, Glenn Thompson of Pennsylvania tweeted this out. And yes, um, the date, well, it's not shown on screen here, um, is from 626, uh, 2015. Um, tweeted this out on the day the SCOTUS legalized same sex marriage. Okay. Today's SCOTUS, uh, today's SCOTUS uh, ruling disregards the will of millions of Americans by forcing them to redefine biblical uh, marriage as defined by their faith. Um, now that, again, came out the day that the SCOTUS ruled in favor of gay marriage. But when we fast forward over to uh, uh, 2022, literally three days, three, where is it at? Three days after voting against federal recognition or codification of gay marriage, three days after voting against gay marriage, this piece of shit gave a speech at his own gay son's wedding. We were fortunate uh, with uh, three sons and, uh, and uh, done a great job of adding to the family. 
Listen, um, folks, to the, to the people in, in uh, Glenn Thompson's, uh, G.T. Thompson's district, um, that would be uh, Pennsylvania's 15th congressional district, so the western uh, portion of, of Pennsylvania there, um, vote this piece of shit out of office. He's not qualified to be a fucking dog catcher. You know, not saying anything bad about dog catchers, but, um, you know. This guy's not qualified to cut grass with a pair of scissors. He's, he's not qualified to put cream cheese on a fucking bagel for $4 an hour plus tips, okay? He's just not, he's not the guy. He's not the guy. Um, and speaking of which, while we're at it, make him vote on interracial marriage one time. Can we please, while Clarence Thomas is still alive, make them vote on interracial marriage force them to vote on whether or not i can get hitched to a white woman make them vote on whether or not i am a whole person or whether or not clarence thomas is a whole person or if we're going to go back to he's a third of a person and or and i and i is so long as i'm not talking all that ching chang stuff i can sit at the front of the bus maybe on a good day make them fucking vote on this shit while that piece of shit is still alive while all of these pieces of shit are still alive force them to declare themselves before the world and the country but mostly force them to declare themselves to their constituents. There are a lot of questions that deserve answers. Listen, folks, either the United States is finished or the Republican Party is finished. I mean, the death cult of Christo-fascists have only one end in mind, as they always have, and that is simply to ensure the resurrection of Jesus Christ and that can only be attained by bringing about Armageddon. It's in the fucking book. And they will do everything, literally everything in their power to make it thus. And we are seeing it in real time and much more openly and at a much more alarming rate than ever before in this country. Trump had the nuclear codes, folks. Um, listen, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to this channel, support the show on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Chainsaw CCC, Chainsaw CCC slash join. Um, send you $3 per month to support independent media, help my recovery, blah, blah, blah. Keep the purple lights on and then figure out how the fuck to run for office or school board or park board or whatever, because they're working on it. They're working on it right now. They're literally trying to kill us all while you're fucking around on Facebook, posting cat memes and crying about hurt feelings. <laughs> we are weeks away from an election, folks. We got a lot of shit that we got to go over and a lot of shit, a lot of bases to cover. And we're all in this together, like it or not. <laughs>